Hello Leos, this is for you October 2017. This is more for your finances, uh, your work, career, business, partnership. Alright, for Leos, October 2017. So let's see what do we have for Leos. This time round, the spread will be slightly different. The spread will be slightly different. I will do the first decan, second decan, and the last decan of the month, being the 1st to October, uh, 1st to 10th of October, 11th to 20th of October, and then the 21st October to 31st October. And then we're going to have uh, a head and a tail, a head and a tail card. Okay, you will see it shortly. So just one last shuffle. I shuffled this card a uh, couple of times prior to, to the video. So one last shuffle for deals, October 2017. What is the overall general reading? Okay, so this is how it goes. The first decan, three cards. Second decan, 11 to 20th. And 21st. To 31st okay this is how it's gonna look like first second second middle of the month and towards the end of the month then we have a tail card and the bottom of the deck will be your general energy the head the head also the crowning the crowning of the reading <coughs> So sometimes the head, the general energy could be the major obstacles as well. Um, because I'm term uh I term this as the head and the tail. So the head is something that's major, um it could be a big deal. If you clear away this major obstacle, uh it may help to smoothen out uh everything else in the month. Alright. So alright. Hmm. Okay, starting off with the head, the general energy, King of Sword over here. Um, King of Sword is about someone who, um, like your boss, it could be your boss, because someone who says the final, who has got the final say, someone, a lot of communication um, or receiving it instructions from this somebody some 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 uh, from this someone over here king of sword so this may be the general energy or it may just be you being um in this position like a king of sword is like everything you say people got to get it done people will have to listen to you they have to take your advices so this is the overall general energy of the month uh sometimes it may mean it could be what is uh, obstructing you so let's see um, we can only tell more about this card after the reading, then we can see how this card blend in with the full reading over here. But may generally your en energy, your crowning, your sometimes your major obstacle is this king of sword. It's about you, it is either you who are the one who's the one speaking, uh, speaking, sometimes talking too much, or someone is someone else if it's not you who's talking too much and uh, behaving like... Um, like a boss, it could be actual boss, um, someone you are reporting to. So this is your major general obstruction for you this month, or if not, then it is you. If this is you, it may not be a good thing. That means it may it may mean that you may, yes, you feel empowered over here because you are the king. It's like everything you say, people needs to listen to you. But sometimes it may, if this becomes your major obstruction, means you may. Uh, you need to know how um, to settle down on the energy like don't be too um, don't come on as too strong over here king of sword or otherwise if it's this other person your bosses or your co-workers your business partner your clients then this this other people either one of these whom you may be dealing with may be this person and this is they are obstructing you they are uh, disturbing you much okay they may be your general obstacles over here so Leo your tail energy is actually seven of wands so seven of wands over here um, it's a lot about getting okay so uh, let me just take a step back on your reading. So the tail card is about some, you know, as a like the tail. The tail is something at the back where you can hardly scratch it, you can hardly reach to it, you can hardly uh, touch it. 
but it's, it's like something is there but you can't really get it off you it's disturbing you but it may be just something uh less major more minor minor energy but it's disturbing you seven of seven of ones over here seven of ones over here if you look at this how the artist drew this card over here this person is trying to get things done trying to get um uh like get his way through work his way through get things done over here so the the minor energy the tail energy over here is looking like you know there's something that you want to do but yeah there may be some obstruction obstruction uh in your current environment right now you want to get things done uh and it's like and and it because this is a tail energy and it's looking like you are not able to it's like there's so much that you want to do that you need to do but then again there's so much on your plate that you can't really get to it get to get it done um you can't really have it done just because there are a lot of uh disturbance or it your your current situation doesn't allow you to get it done okay let's move on and see what's happening in the early part of october the first decade the first 10 days first to the 10th of october okay all right so we are definitely seeing something good over here uh so the first card we have the strength card let me show you this is a strength card so the strength card, um, I mean, look at this person, this lady here, she's hugging on, um, like bear hugging the lion to the lion. Uh, the strength of, I mean, as is pretty straightforward for the strength. It's either it is asking you to have strength or you're feeling powerful in the early part of October. You're feeling, um, if you are feeling powerful, then this could be you, the king of sword over here. Okay, so you have some strength, you have a lot of strength, or is, if it's not that, then minor minority of you would be needing strength. Because why? We're going to have the Ace of sword. you're going to hear something good, you're going to get good news, you're going to hear from probably if you are looking for a job, seeking for a job, then uh, you will be hearing, getting a lot of contacts because swords are about communication. You could be in contact, uh, a lot of communication, exchanging with your a potential employer or any recruiter who's helping you out to look for a job or even um, friends or contacts in the business world who's helping you you are getting to hear a lot um a lot from the business world ace of sword depending on what you are what situation you are in i mean you could be a job seeker or if you are in a sales uh, in a sales line like having the clinch client you're getting to hear a lot hear a lot from uh, potential customers clients to be uh, in a lot of exchanges um, or even like uh, they are just coming knocking on your door the early part of october and following that, we have Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is about a good feel, feel good, <laughs> good feel and feel good. It's about feeling good, satisfied, satisfactory. And apparently what is happening here, the Ace of Swords is contributing, constituting to you feeling the Nine of Cups or getting the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups in this case, it could mean like a fame, uh, fame and... Uh, an honor award because if you look at the cups over here these cups are looking like trophies to me so nine of cups you've got so many cups it's like nine out of ten it's not too bad it's already 90 percent done it's 90 percent done and so what's happening over here is that these people who are coming towards you uh it like uh they would be somebody who's helpful to you of um um yeah helpful to you favorable working favorable to you um contributing to you your work your work your business uh could be your clients your customers your bosses your co-workers someone there are you it's looking like you know you are getting a lot of uh uh a lot of help a lot of help sometimes sometimes we look at it as like a help and to help you in your work in your businesses to get things um going over here for you so that's the ace of sword and nine of cups i guess 
um, I would want to say that with this strength card over here, it may be because of your good, um, your good PR, uh, your your own um accreditations, accreditations uh by yourself, the strength, because of you who you are, what you are, all your strength, your accreditations, um, your um, yeah. You, it is because of what you have, the qualities of you, and hence we have the Ace of Swords. People are coming over to you, coming to help you, approaching you, wanting to work with you. And this is the early part of October. Okay, the middle part, the second decade of October, which is 11 to 20th of the month, which is middle of the month. What do we have over here? Alright, so towards the middle of the month, we are seeing Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. Alright, let's begin one by one. Seven of Swords over here for you, Leos. This is about... Um, in a work context, Seven of Swords could be trying to be smart, to, out, uh, to outsmart... Uh, yeah, can I say that? Like a smart Alex, smart Alex over here, seven of swords. Uh, or sometimes a uh, minority of you could be this for this card, it could mean to you that someone, or it, if it's not you, then, some, then someone would be uh, trying to run away from responsibility because this card is about getting away, getting away, running away, um, like. You see, there are seven swords over here, but this person is just getting away with five, with only five. Uh, that means this person is not doing his or her utmost um, duty, is not fulfilling uh, the job requirements. So if it's not you, then it will be some other people around you in your environment. So be careful, like someone is trying to be lazy, or if not otherwise, this is about... Um, like a theft, like a theft, someone is trying to uh, took something and is going to run away with it. It could be like a, if someone is leaving the work environment, your your company, if you are the boss, you are the, the co-founder or whatsoever, then it's like probably your employees are trying to get away, like taking the business context and running away with it. Or like you know copy and take a snapshot of the business card and whatsoever so there is this uh, energy over here in the middle of the month however it applies in your situation just you can think about it who could be this person is it you are you trying to um, to to um, like uh, try to put up a smoke screen Put up a smoke screen, trying to look like as if okay, it's done. Just try, just wanting to pacify, uh, your customers or your business partners or your bosses. You're trying to like just pacify, just make it look good, and you know, and uh, hoping that everything is gonna work out from there. Then we have six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is a lot about giving, sharing, um, sharing. All right, now I'm seeing that. If we have uh, seven of sword and six of pentacles, so one is a negative energy, one is a positive energy. So in that environment, in that environment that you are in, one of you, one of you would be this, the other one would be this. If it's, it could be you who are this, or it could be you who are this, the one who's giving and sharing. Six of pentacles, this person, look at this person, this lord over here. He is sharing and giving whatever he has. In terms of a working environment, it could be sharing of knowledge, uh, sharing of knowledge, or it could, if it's not giving, then it may be receiving, receiving like a sum, a sum of money. So if you are waiting for some kind of payout, bonus payout, or outstanding um, salary deal to you, this is uh, middle of the month, you should see it coming, or at least traces of uh, traces or signs of it coming towards you six of pentacles it, it is either about giving or or if not then it's about taking it could be if you are not the lord here then you will be um, 
um, I want to say peasant, but no, let's not put let's not put it so low. But then you will be the the commoner, the commoner, the people receiving, uh, receiving. So we are seeing these two the very different energy over here. Um, it could also mean someone is trying to run away. Is taking advantage. It could also mean taking advantage. It's like look at this. If this seven of swords is about trying to run away, um, uh, like with this much trying to run away with something, and then here again, is about receiving, taking, taking away. So it's like someone here may be. If we look at, look at uh that from this pers uh, pers uh perspective over here six it may be someone who's it could uh taking advantage of that of that situation taking advantage of someone of the business business owner it could be your client customers or uh could be your co-worker your business partner taking advantage of something or you or the company trying to run away with something and then continue to take and receive something Okay, then followed by that, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Let me put these two cards down. So Nine of Pentacles is about um, uh, achievement as well. Okay, now I'm seeing that towards the middle of the month, towards the middle of the month, Yeah, I'm, I think I'm seeing a lot of unfairness over here. Someone is really taking advantage in the middle of the month. Could it be you, Leo? Or if not, then it will be someone in your environment. Nine of Pentacles is about uh, getting to where you want to get. Uh, success, success and achievement. Nine of Pentacles because it is nine of ten. 90% done. 90%... And I mean, look at this person, this lady over here. She she is stepping on the pentacles. It's like she has more than enough, and she could just lay on the floor. It's just like her stepping stone. She and is she's stepping on it, like pentacles. We keep pentacles to ourselves, close to ourselves. But this person could be just like stepping on it. It's like she has more than enough to spare. It's a lot of um gains within this card nine of pentacles so if we look at it as like a gain over here someone trying to take advantage running away and still continue to take from something someone somewhere and then getting to nine of pentacles so it's a lot about taking advantage over here i'm not sure whether if it's getting this person is getting his or her way through um okay so anyway that's one of it uh, one of the way to be looking at this mid month over here uh if let me see how else if we could if we could be looking at it positively how else could we be okay so in a in a light in a more um in a more lighthearted way in a more positive manner to be looking at this mid month spread we are seeing that okay you are it is required of you that you do be smart to be smarter to outsmart be a smart alex over here like try to do something smart uh like try to work around be flexible and uh, try to work around work around something some difficult people some difficult tasks to try to work around it and then um if you working around that we get six and nine of pentacles so if you try if you if you try to work smart this is this card is about working smart if you try to work smart uh it is how um it is how and what brings you to uh to to fulfill to fulfillment like if you have to appease your bosses your management your company your business partner or your clients it this is the way out this is the way out trying to uh do something smart over here be smart act smart be a smart ally 
okay and then sorry and then we get the six of pentacles you get to receive and this card is about receiving uh, someone is giving and someone is receiving over here and you start to receive receive and then you get you get like a yeah you get the full deal the full um uh recognition or like a deal if you're waiting for a deal to come through or if you are um waiting for some kind of payout so you have to work your way through to get to where you want to get if you're waiting for a payout then you have to like probably keep on following up with with people or you know get um uh, get close with the probably the finance department get close to the people relevant to that that event and then you're going to get work your way through and get your payout okay that's the middle of the month let me see how can we gel the story for the first decan and the second decan so people are coming to you a lot of help favorable people in your environment here And then you got to be smart, got to outsmart, and then you receive it. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the last second towards the end of the month. What do we have towards the end of the month? The end of the month, we have uh, Four of Pentacles here. So Four of Pentacles, sometimes it means reserve, conservative. Um, so it could sometimes also mean plan. You have to plan your finances well. Four of Pentacles because probably that's all you are left with. I don't know why when we have six and nine and then it, when it comes to nine or four of Pentacles. Okay, I'm getting this thing about opportunity, opportunity or deal or something is going to slip away. Like even though you get your six of Pentacles and nine of Pentacles, it's looking like it it, it is not going to last for long because then we start the end of the month we go in and proceed towards the end of the month with four of pentacles which is like it's from the nine of pentacles it slip it dip uh it goes down to only four of pentacles left so it's looking like you have to mm, this all these good good people opportunity coming to you and this way of handling is going to be short-lived. It will help you, yes, it will help you. These people are helping you, are favorable to you. And the way you work your way through, the way you work your way through, remember I talked about seven of wands, about working your way through. The, the tail of the energy is about you trying to work your way through to achieve something, to get to something. It, it looks a bit kind of like a bit of struggle over here because then we come back to four of pentacles and following that is prince of pentacles prince of pentacles prince is like a knight uh having to go out to fight for it to work for it continuously to battle for it you you got to go out and earn it Follow with, follow by that we have the Queen of Cups, so this Queen of Cups is um cup is about emotions your emotions your heart felt how do you feel so a queen a queen is like um nurturing a nurturing figure uh like motherly figure she she will guide you she's like a guardian angel uh. In this context of uh, in a working environment, in a business world context, your finances, your Queen of Cups could mean like uh, your comfort, where you seek comfort. You, um, yeah, yes, you have to seek comfort. You are seeking comfort over here. It could be you. It could be you who are seeking comfort and you you have to come to terms with yourself like no one can no one can appeal no one can um like it's only you 
you can you can help yourself in like you know you only have you yourself to to look upon to like you go back to your shell you go back to your cave and you, it's like you know in the, when you are young we used to go to mommy and be like mommy today something bad happened and then mommy will be like oh uh sweetie don't don't feel that way you know you are mommy's good girl but now because we are all adults we are all adults and we no longer have that like we <laughs> it's hard for us to behave that way and the only way we can seek comfort is through ourselves by ourselves so you may be uh, in this position of the queen of cups you seek your own comfort seek your own help to get to feel good, to feel better about the situation over here. So towards the end of the month, towards the end of the month, we are looking like um, okay. Towards the end of the month, what I want to say is that it's looking like you have to fall back on yourself, no matter how. We have people coming in, favorable people coming in to help you. Uh, the existence of uh, favorable people um, uh, or clients uh, like looking like deals coming to you early part of the month. And then you find yourself having to maintain and sustain the energy. Like you want to keep these good people, good energy with you or keep the clients with you. You try to do something and then... Uh, yes, you managed to get it for a while, but then towards the end of the month, we start off with like you have to con you have to work uh, a lot harder because basically we've got the Prince of Pentacles. So the Prince is the warrior. It's a lot of fight and battle through. Mm. Yeah, if you if you if you can see the picture over here. So ultimately, the, the moral of the story for this month of October is that, Leo, you still have to depend on yourself. There's no one to really depend on despite it's looking like, you know, you have a lot of people to depend on and it's like you have a lot of resources, uh, uh, extra resources, stand by you. But towards the end of the month, we start to see that, okay, ultimately, I cannot rely on anyone. There's no one for me to rely on or whoever who presented themselves to me early part of this year, or I uh, mean the month, came to me knocking on my door. Ultimately, is there any, uh, is there any closure? Like, is there any final deal closure, sign off? Or, or like, probably your bosses give you like a, like a, f uh, they gave you like a, fake hopes they pin hopes um they made you pin hopes on on like okay uh it's looking like you know you're gonna get a promotion or your clients look like look very much like they want to sign a deal with you or your business partner look very much like you know they are very into it into the business they want to work with you but ultimately towards the end of the month you find that okay all these are just it's not happening it's just not happening ultimately you still have you have only yourself to depend on to rely on that's towards the end of the month and so coming to the head and the tail of the reading king of sword over here so so now we see this king of sword the major obstacle is about someone giving you fake hopes making you pin hopes and look like you know they they could be there helping you because sword about communication they they talk so much they did they talk no they didn't do anything but they talk so much they look as if like you know they can really do something but ultimately your major obstacle are all these people it's just giving you uh fake hopes it's just um um, um yeah it's just all talk it's just like mouth it's just mouth works nothing but just mouth works just empty talks. King of sword over here. Then the tail energy is that you have to work your own way through. You have only yourself to depend on seven of ones. That is how it is. Your general, you, the tail of it is that you, you just have yourself. You just need to work on everything else on your own, by your own. 
So don't trust what I'm saying. I think over here, the whole month of October is looking like don't trust too easily. Don't trust that, you know, um, like someone say that, they oh, don't worry about it. I will take care of that. And then you just let that person take care of it. No, it's looking like towards the end of it, you find that, okay, at the end of it, nothing is done. It looks like you are telling me, presenting to me, like we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, like, oh, clients are uh, clients are signing, we are getting it, we are getting it. It's, and then it's like, oh, they're going to transfer us a, a sum of amount. But at the end of the day, you look at it, it's like, no, we're not getting anything. Even if we get anything, it's like something that you have to return back. Okay? Leo, this is so much that I can be giving you um, the highlight uh, of this month. Uh, what could generally so ultimately just be on your own depend on your own don't don't pin hopes on anyone to be helping you along the way in this month of october if you need like a very very tailored personal private reading come feel free to contact me description box has it has the details um otherwise i will see you next again see you